Hey everybody, welcome back to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. Today, y'all, we are planting onions. We've been wanting to get out in the yard and put something in the ground. Well, today is the day. This is what the raised bed is looking like. This is the bed that I prepared to place the onions in. So let's get started. this is what my onions are looking like they are getting some really uh, nice roots and um, this is the first time I've had onions that look this good y'all I'm just gonna be honest about it uh, I had problems in the past growing onions from seeds so these are some onions that I'm very proud of but onions are a crop that you can plant a little early uh, I checked and our last frost date is March the 20th but onions can stand to get a small frost. So uh, if it gets really bad, if a cold snap come where there's gonna be freezing temperatures, then you would want to go and uh, cover them up. But onions can stand a light frost. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a hole and start to putting these onions in the ground right now. So I'm pulling these onions out in clumps, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna break them up and I'm gonna put uh, like two or three in the same hole. And uh, that way I won't have to come back and worry about uh, trying to separate them once it starts uh, getting, you know, uh, they start growing. I'll just leave them the way that they are and let them bump each other out the way a little bit. I'm gonna be going kind of fast, but I did want to demonstrate how I'm pushing these onions into the ground. You can dig a hole or you can uh, just put the onion where you're gonna place it and push the root into the ground. Okay guys, the way that I prepare my soil is I use some Exfomo a uh, plant or garden tone, either one of them will work. And you just put it in your bed before you get ready to plant your onions. And then you just uh, work it in. You just uh, You can do it with your hand or you can do it with a rake and get it in. Y'all changed my mind about how I was gonna do them. I said I was gonna put two or three in the hole. I changed my mind. The onions need to be spaced like two inches apart and you need to put them like three inches deep into the ground. These onions will work their way up during this time that they're uh, in the ground during this uh, seed growing season. And they will end up at the end of the seed growing season, they'll end up on top, basically on top of the soil. So you wanna go ahead and, and put them about three inches deep, about two inches apart so that means that you can get a lot of onions planted in a small space right now i'm doing this uh texas onion and it it's called a texas i think grano and uh if you can see these they've got some nice size uh seedlings right now so I'm liking that. That looks like, you know, they'll be off to a good start because they're a nice size. I know a lot of people uh, throw away the, the really, really small ones. I, I have not uh, been able to do that. I'm just going ahead and stick them in the ground and uh, well, hey, I'll just set to see what they do, you know, cause like I said, this is the best uh, germination that I've had with onions since I've been planting them from seeds. So. I'm gonna take what I can get right now. And y'all, onions can make good companion plants for a lot of different uh, vegetables, but there are a few that they do not make a good companion plant with, like asparagus, and I think it was beans and peas that they don't uh, make a good companion plant with. But if you plant them with tomatoes and you've been having a problem with different um, pests bothering your tomatoes, an uh, onion would be a good companion plant for those tomato plants and that will help to detour 
the uh, pest away from them because they don't think that the uh, pests like the smell of the onion. And once you get all of your uh, seedlings in your bed, you just want to lightly mix them in. Now, you know, I know they don't look like much right now, but they will eventually uh, turn into some uh, onions. You want to get them watered in really good. And keep them watered. Try and keep the grass out best you can because it doesn't like to have a lot of competition of weeds or anything like that. So you want to try to keep it weeded. All right, guys, the last thing I want to do today, I want to go ahead and get this uh, peach potted up into my pot that I was going to up pot it in. It is uh, really looking good. It's looking like it's getting some buds on it. And so I just want to go ahead and get start getting my fruit trees potted up. So I'm just going to do this one for demonstration. I showed you all the pot that I purchased from uh, Family Dollar for $15. And uh, after I went ahead and uh, charged up my, my drill, the holes were uh, easy to make and the pot was not bending up or anything. So I think that it will be um, okay to put my fruit tree in for a temporary home. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up in this pot and the fruit tree that I'm going to put in there is the Bell of Georgia peach tree. That really looks good. Okay, so let's pot her up. The soil I'm using is an all-purpose potting soil um, made by Black Gold. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill my pot that I'm going to use to up pot this tree. I'm going to put a quite a bit of soil in here because this pot's pretty big. And I like to use this feeder for animal food to feed like cows and livestock, you know, different livestock. And um, it helps to get a lot of soil at one time. So that's why I like to get that, use this one. And so now that I've got some soil in the bottom of my pot, I'm gonna see how high I think that's gonna be at the right level because it needs to be at the same level in this pot that it is in this pot. And you do not want to cover this graph area here because if you cover that, and now next thing is to get the tree out of this pot. You have to kind of tap it so not to hurt your tree. nice firm bed under there and then just go ahead and back here. And I'm not going to add any fertilizer because this potting mix already had some fertilizer in it. And my tree is still looking pretty dormant. So I'm not going to feed it yet. I'm going to wait until it uh, is that I'm sure that it's out of dormancy. And dormancy is just what happens to your uh, trees during the winter. Your deciduous trees, they go to sleep. And that protects them from the cold during the winter. So that is why I am not going to feed it. I'm, I'm going to wait until the tree is awake. Before I apply 
extra fertilizer to it. So. This is taking a quite a lot of soil. I didn't even bother to mess with the root ball or anything because as far as I'm concerned, this tree is in dormancy and I don't want to do anything more to this tree than needs to be done to it. But I felt like it really needed to come out of this pot and it gave me a, gave me a head start on getting some of my, uh, at least one of my trees potted up because as I told you, I have a quite a few trees that I need to pot up. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna water this tree in, give it a chance to uh, soak. I'm gonna water it in and give it a chance to soak up some water and kind of settle. And after it does that, then I'll go back in and I'll add some more soil to it. So I hope that you all learned something in today's video. I hope that you will give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.